Hey folks, Cool18 here, and uh, welcome to Let's Try Habitat sort of demo alpha mega Kickstarter edition. There's really not much to this game as is, and I don't usually do videos for games that are currently being Kickstarted, uh, just because I don't want to, you know, do anything that might encourage people to spend money on something that honestly might never come out, right? You could Kickstarter something, it might never be released, or if it does get released, it might suck. So, you know, with all those disclaimers out of the way, let's take a look at Habitat. This is a game that I'd heard a little bit about um, a while ago, but uh, I really only paid attention to it when I went to PAX East, and they were there doing a demo of the game, and uh, so I decided to sit down and take a look at it. They'd emailed me ahead of time to um, to book an interview as well, and I was like, oh yeah, I like the concept, let's take a look at it. So, Habitat is a space builder, sort of survival-y kind of game um, that is currently being worked on. We can go ahead and start this demo again. This is a very, very limited demo. It's more of a sort of, oh, that is loud. I don't think it's gonna be too loud. Oh, maybe it will be. Give me a second to tweak my volumes over here in XSplit. All right. So, um, yeah, this is more of like a proof of concept than an actual game at this point. But there we go. Here is Habitat. So the idea is Earth, for whatever reason, has become uninhabitable. We ruined it with pollution or nanites or, or some damn thing. It doesn't really matter. And so now we're trying to move humanity into space. We're trying to create a habitat for humanity in space and so what you can do is you can assemble all the space junk that we've fired into space over the years including things like little uh, little robot dogs space dogs and you know some sort of statue of their head statue and big ships and somewhere there's a um, there's an Eiffel Tower in there somewhere too maybe we'll find it at some point anyway so you got all those th things that we can fit onto our ship so for example I can take little this little piece of trash over here there's some shipping containers can click it and I can bring it and attach it to my ship right here by doing that and then one of my seven current space engineers will go over there grab the piece of space debris and attach it to my vessel now once it's attached to the vessel I can assign it to a few different roles so here I've got a variety of stats over here oxygen food electricity and living space if I select my current habitat and go into the select node mode, I can click on various things like these shipping containers here. I can take this first shipping container and tell it to become a living space, for example, because we didn't have much of that. And then maybe this node over here will get it to produce food since we don't have any food there. And this gas tank, can we make a oxygen generator? No, we've got oxygen, maybe a little bit more electricity. Hello, Johnny Bravo. Thank you for subscribing on the live stream. I really appreciate that. Sorry, your name is not uh, being popped up on the visual. So, yeah, let's make an electric generator here because our electricity is dropping a little bit low. So then we'll pop out of this mode and watch them just upgrade things. So they put a Tesla generator over here. Looks like we had a Tesla generator there too. Living space is high. Electricity is going up. Food, not so much. Did I, did I, make, did I make this a power thing instead of a food thing? Shipping container is a housing. Oh, this one's not doing anything. Okay. So you go and become a food producer. Because we need that. So then we can go and attach some more bits and pieces to our ship. So we've got a rocket booster here and here. I think this is a... Yeah, that's another rocket booster over here. So let's grab that and attach that right over here. Get that to be done. And also maybe this particle accelerator, because that's cool. Uh, we'll put a particle accelerator here. And rotate it around. Well, it doesn't really apply to that. Sure, we'll do that. Okay, rocket booster attached. Get me my particle accelerator, and then we're gonna go buzz around. Maybe we'll go towards the uh, the cyber lady head and see if we can attach that to our ship. Hello, Norntal86. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate the support. We got some extra gas tanks here too. We still don't have any food. Maybe the food is not coded in. Again, this is a very early demo and mostly proof of concept than anything else. So we can assemble these ships, you know, there, there's there's maybe like a bit of a Kerbal space program kind of element in terms of like, this stuff should not be flying. This does not look space worthy, but you know, who cares? Let's go ahead and click this and click the fly habitat mode. Now that I've done that, you can see that all three of my thrusters here, I can activate with number keys. So we've got a bit of a rotation going on for some reason. So I'm going to hit the one. No? Why? Uh oh. I don't know why none of my boosters are actually firing. Oh, throttle. Plus and minus. Oh, shoot. Uh... Oh, no, I'm just smashing into everything. Number keys for rockets. Oh, no. Rockets on off. Plus and minus for throttle. 
Right click to exit the mode. Yeah, well now we have nothing. Now we're just out of control. Um, emergency stop. I don't know if we've... What we'll do is we'll vent oxygen to emergency stop, but we have no oxygen. Let's get the grappling hook attached here. Do I have engineers? I've lost one engineer so far. Oh, and this is an enemy ship. Is it? No, it's a secondary habitat. Right, because you can have more than one of them. Okay, let's activate both engines. And then... Plus? Oh, there we go! Nice! Um... Yeah, that's fine. Let's just fire and forget. Just let it keep going. You can use these as weapons. You can actually create torpedoes quite easily. I mean, not so much anymore. We got some sort of pirate ship there. I think we just blew up. Um, we can reset the simulation. How do we do that? Do I actually have to restart the game? I think I might have to. Again, this is a proof of concept demo. Let me go and do that. You can create weapons, basically, just by combining a rocket with, you know, some sort of fuel, for example. And, and use it to attack enemies. Because there are a few in the demo. They're pretty passive. Like this here. This is an enemy habitat. And apparently later on you will get the ability to um, to go and like maybe board them, for example. I wonder if I can turn this thing around. That would be tricky to do. But I, it would be nice if we could just rotate this guy. Let's just hit one. And then... Okay, now stop the thruster. Activate two. Oh, that's not going to work. Turn off one. Activate two. A little too much. Okay, we're going to try. We're going to try here. And slow, slow. Good. Almost. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, that didn't do it entirely according to plan, which is too bad. Oh, that's right. This has got the, um, aren't you stop? That's no good. Because it's got the grappling hook launcher. Here, let's try this again. I want to I showcase this grappling hook. They've got some cool ideas. It's not a game yet, but they've got some really cool ideas. All right, where was that, um, this guy. That's what we want to do. Select node, grappling hook. Fire the grappling hook. All right, now we've got a hold of the enemy habitat. Nah. -ha. So now, fire and forget. Just activate both rockets and let's not worry about it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna yank this thing into some asteroids and into the Titanic, destroying an enemy habitat. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Again, they're all just ideas right now. Um, we had a particle beam near this ship here. There we go. Let's grab this thing. Is this not it? Yeah, particle accelerator. They had a cool mechanic on this too. Uh, let's attach it on the end there. I don't know what to do with the space dog yet. I think it's just floating around for now. One thing I would like to see is like maybe more metrics and more things over here, maybe more production. But so far it's already like promising to be a fair deal of fun. Okay, come on. Come here with my gun. Bring me my gun. I want to shoot things. There we go. Thank you. So yeah, this game's called Habitat. You can Google it. And again, it is being kickstarted. I'm not going to endorse the Kickstarter just because I don't like to do that. But they've got some awesome fun. Things are being shattered in the background. Okay, so now I should be able to click on this, select a node, grab the particle accelerator and fire the weapon. And while the weapon is firing, fly habitat, activate number one, put in a little bit of thrust. Let's watch, see what happens here. I think I bumped into something, unfortunately. But it normally, it pushes things out of the way. Like, it actually, like, it can destroy things outright, but mostly it just gives them a little bit of a thrust. We're losing all of our oxygen, it's venting out the space. Here, we'll do the emergency stop, they'll dump a bunch of oxygen. There we go, to try to arrest our momentum, although we're still hitting things. Hitting things at low impact isn't so bad. Uh, repair? Can we repair this node? Because we keep leaking uh, oxygen. And maybe this one too? The, the air scrubbers? Yeah, let, let's fix the air scrubbers. Sounds pretty important. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the demo. There might be a few more things to do in here, but there wasn't tons of it. Oh, the pointy tower. And a spy satellite. So they're talking about the idea of, um, like, first you sort of, like, build up a ship around orbit, and as you increase your, um, 
your living space, you will actually get like freighters full of people from the earth to come and like deliver them to your habitat. But there could be things like campaigns where you have to uh, build a vessel that can actually go out to space to some other point. So it's got to be space worthy to a certain extent, which is, I don't know, always going to be sketchy and hard. But, uh, what the hell, really? Let's see what happens. We'll, we'll go and live inside of the uh, Cyber, Lady uh, Cyber Lady Liberty statue. I don't know, that must have been after the Nanites took over Earth. They cyberized everything. Hmm, there's actually a current power generator. Well, we don't have a lot of power, so go ahead and attach it over there. Hmm. Anyway, just a quick little demo of a game that I think is quite cool. Uh, assuming that uh, it uh, makes it out to market, we will definitely be taking a look at this in the future. It should be releasing for, I believe, Windows, Mac, Linux, and the Xbox One, interestingly enough. So, honestly, it's probably good for the console owners to have uh, the ability to encounter different types of games. I don't know how this will work with a controller, but it might actually work perfectly fine. We'll see. So that is it for my look at Habitat. See you guys next time.